My name is Eddie Ift. That is my real name, Ift. I know it sounds like a slow leaking fart. And, uh, uh, but that is my real name. And uh, it, it's, it's a really difficult name to have. Uh, when I give it over the phone, people's heads explode. But I just had to call for an airline ticket and uh, I had to call US Airways. Their call center is in Indonesia. And the woman that answered the phone, forgive me for this bad Indonesian accent, but she was like, hello. <laughs> and I go, uh, hi, I want to check the status of my flight. She goes, what's your name? And I go, Ift. And she goes, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I go, uh, that's my name? And she goes, how do you spell? And I go, wait, you're not allowed to swear. And she goes, it's been a long day. <laughs> she goes, spell it. I go, I-F-F-T. She goes, I-S-S-T? I go, no, I said I-F-F-T. She goes, I-F-S-T. I go, no, I said I-F-F-T. She goes, I-F-F-E. And I go, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and then she did one of these. She goes, use words with the letters. You know, when you got to use those words with the, le- I don't know those words, those military words. I didn't take military in college. I don't know. You know that like A is an alpha, B is in butt fucker. I don't know that stuff. <laughs> so I get all nervous like I'm being tested. I'm like, yeah, it's uh, I, as in, ift. (laughs) F, as in, ft. Another F, as in, ft. T, as in, tsunami. (laughs) She's like, you asshole! (laughs) You guys are smart, you got that. I did that joke down south in America, and some guy went, wait a minute. (laughs) Tsunami spelled with a C. (laughs) My name's Eddie Ift. I'm a comedian from California. Not really California. I'm from, uh, I grew up in Pittsburgh, moved to New York, lived in London, spent half my time in Australia. I'm basically a gypsy comedian. I don't know why I'm a comedian. I've been doing it in 14 years. My parents still think it's a phase I'm going through. (laughs) They're really hoping I go back to break dancing. How did I get into stand-up comedy? I was fired from every job I've ever had. I was uh, kicked out of every school I was in. I had nowhere else to go. I was like Richard Gere and an officer and a gentleman. Fans, you know, it's pretty hard walking around, getting recognized all the time. It's not so much as like, this is the career that I found. It was the only career that would take me. Yeah, I grew up though in Pittsburgh. I had a pretty normal childhood, which is really weird for a comic. Most comics will tell you like how they lived on the streets or, or were abused or, and mine was like really kind of weirdly perfect. <laughs> Things always sound better than they are, don't they? There were no, no heroin addictions, no car crashes, no unplanned pregnancies. We were just boring. We think our oldest sister's a lesbian, we're hoping. I used to beg my dad to beat my sisters so that I could go to therapy and be like the other kids. I went to like Catholic school as a little kid and was just just in trouble constantly. I'm sometimes very offensive. In some countries, probably what I've said is illegal. I apologize right now. Um, on behalf of me, my family, everything we represent, uh, they're not happy with me. Best thing about being me is uh, freedom. In any other circumstance, you'd probably get fired or thrown in jail but because I have a microphone in front of me, I'm allowed to say it. Like, I can say anything I want. It's good to be here. I'm glad to be uh, here. This uh, great crowd, uh, a lot of people. Um, it's better than when I do shows with nobody. Um, no, I did a show once recently. It's true, I did a show for one person. One person, and they made me do the show. In the middle of the show, they got up and went to the bathroom. And I didn't know what to do, so I went with them. I was in the bathroom telling them jokes. The guy's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) Had my pants off, I peed all over them. (laughs) I have a degree, I I went to college, I wasn't a good student. I graduated college with a 3.2 blood alcohol level. And uh, no, I, uh, I, I, I went to college for political science. I was a political science major, which allows you to be a comedian. That's about all you can do. I got kicked out of grade school, high school, junior high, college. My parents said at least I was consistent. Uh, <laughs> um, I grew up with three sisters, three older sisters, all have red hair. Three older sisters, red hair, all living together. You know what that means? They all get on the same cycle. Like that red hair didn't make them angry enough. They get on the same cycle. They have their period at the same time. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I knew I was in trouble when I'd come home. <laughs> And I'd find the wrappers from the tampons in the trash can. They shouldn't call them wrappers, they should call them warnings. 
and just say on the label, get the fuck out of the house. Because I would see it, it was like I was in an action film and life would go into slow motion. I'd be like, no. I'd start running down the hallway like, oh my God. My dad would be waiting in the basement slash bomb shelter with a helmet on, come on. Get down here, we're gonna stay down for five days until the war's over. We got a Black Hawk down. Fuck it, it's your brother, leave him. 